Welcome to the second video on atomic structure for IGCSE chemistry. Uh, in this video we're going to look at atomic mass numbers and mass numbers of the atoms. So, uh, it would be really helpful for this session, uh, or this tutorial, if you have a periodic table in front of you. Um, I've got one here, um, but it would be useful if you have a one there to refer to at all times, not just the one on this slide. Uh, now you may have picked up from what I was saying in the last video that the atomic number is the number of protons in an atom. And that's the really the fingerprint for an atom. It is unique for each element. And it's the smallest of the two numbers displayed for an element in the periodic table. So you can see here hydrogen is one. So that instantly tells me that hydrogen has one proton. Lithium, three. So lithium has three protons. Sodium, 11. So sodium has 11 protons. Magnesium, 12. So magnesium has 12 protons. The mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons in an atom. And it's absolutely essential that we remember these two definitions. Quite often you might be given the mass number of something and the number of protons and you then have to work out the number of neutrons. So obviously it's the difference between these two numbers. And we're going to apply these in a minute to different atoms. So let's scroll forward and you can see here that I've put a refresher of the definitions and we've got one, two, three, four, five atoms or elements to look at. Again, I'll repeat, you do need your periodic table in front of you for this. So the first one we're going to look at, and I apologise, the lines haven't quite worked out, I don't quite know, it's some kind of transfer between Word and um, PowerPoint and transferring onto a PDF. Something in the lines have gone a bit skew with. Anyway, please forgive me. So, get your periodic table out and have a look for nitrogen. And you'll see that nitrogen has the number 7 next to it. And I've also put a number 14 next to it. So, the number 7 is telling us the atomic number. That's the smaller of the numbers, so that's telling us the atomic number. So that is 7 there. And what does the atomic number tell us? Well, the definition is it tells us the number of protons, so that means there must be a 7 in that box there. And assuming, and as we've not been told otherwise, we've not been given a charge here, the atom is neutral, that means the number of protons is the same as the number of electrons. Therefore, we're going to have a 7 in here. So that might be worth um, noting that down. Protons equal electrons. Super stuff. Now, the larger of the two numbers next to the atom tells us the mass number. So that number there, 14, tells us that we've got the, well, the sum of protons plus neutrons is 14. Now, bearing in mind we have seven protons, that means we must have seven neutrons as well. Seven plus seven is 14. So, that's the first one done. Uh, for the next one, you need to find phosphorus on the periodic table. Uh, so, have a search around for phosphorus. Uh, you should find it in group five. And the little number associated with phosphorus is 15. So that's telling us its atomic number is 15. And the atomic number is the same as the number of protons. So that means we've got 15. Oh, that's a mistake. That's me misreading the column. That means we've got 15 protons. And if we've got 15 protons, we must have 15 electrons. So here we've got 15 electrons. 
bigger number is the mass number. So that tells us the mass number is 31. And if we've got a mass number of 31 and 15 protons, we can work out the number of neutrons. 15 plus something gives 31. And the difference between the two is 16. Now, the next three are slightly different, but you might be thinking, actually, I'm quite confident now. I could pause the video. Uh, we'll have a go, pause the video, and then have a go and see if you get the right answers. So, this next element here, we've not been told what the element is, but we know that it's got an atomic number of three, which means that we've got three protons. This atomic number equals the number of protons. And as we know that protons equals electrons, that will tell us the number of electrons. We know the mass number is seven. And if the mass number is seven, and we know we've got three protons, seven equals three plus something else, that must be four. Four plus three gives seven. Now, what did I say was the unique number for an element? Was it the mass number, or was it the atomic number? Hopefully you've remembered correctly, it's the atomic number. So let's find on our periodic table which element has an atomic number 3. And that element should be lithium. OK, atomic number 10. Right. OK, so we know it's got atomic number 10, and that tells us the number of protons. I nearly wrote it in the wrong box again. And the number of protons always equals the number of electrons, unless we've got a charged atom, which we don't have any of those here. So we've got 10 electrons. Now we haven't been told the mass number, but the mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons, which in this case is 20. 10 plus 10. And then we have to identify the element. So is it going to be, well, Get your periodic table out. Are we looking for the number 10 or are we looking for the number 20 on the element? Hopefully you're doing the correct thing, looking for number 10. And that element is neon. And the last one we've got has 20 protons, which means there are 20 electrons. The number of protons is always the same as the mass uh, sorry is always the same as the atomic number so that means atomic number 20 and if we identify the atom using the periodic table searching for atomic number 20 we should come up with calcium and we therefore have just left to work out the number of neutrons we know that protons plus neutrons gives mass number and so we've got a mass number of 40 and then atomic number of 20, that means we only have 20. Now, it doesn't all, it's not cl clearly not always the case that the number of protons equals the number of neutrons. It happens in here, it happens here, and it happens here, but often they're different. It just so happens the three of the five examples I've chosen, they were the same. You now need to move on to looking at isotopes, and that's covered in the next video. But please give some questions like this, a practice before you go forward.